Okay, I'm setting up Bedini wheels. Here's August 16th, Sunday, uh, 2015, at about uh, 2 or 3 p.m. I'm working through the modules right now <coughs> for another Bedini wheel. Here's how they work. I got uh, the coils wound. I got the start wind and an end wind. This one's 6 ohms. And I got another one, start wind, end wind. That one's 17 ohms. And they're clockwise wound. And following the uh, schematics, I got two of them here are the same, just to verify it. There's a start. you got to make sure the start wind and end winds are correctly connected to the rest of the circuit. And the dials are in the right firing order. And I got, uh, I'm using up the 2K pots, the 5K pots with a 470 ohm resistor with the trigger coil. Uh, so right now I'm just checking out my modules that I built for the trigger and the charge coils. And they're right here. I have three of them, four of them I built today. This is what the average one looks like. There's a little potentiometer, 2 to 5K, and the 2N3055. And the diode's going across the base to emitter. The base always gets the uh, cathode side, and the anode side goes to the emitter, which goes to the ground. And the other one that goes out to positive is the cathode side, so you got to be careful. That's right. And my modules are looking like this. They look like this. There's four wires on each, and I'm trying to keep them all the same, color coded with the core uh, wiring, to make it easier for replace, repair, or maintenance. And these are the fine wires on the top. I got to be careful. They will short out unless you mount everything carefully. This is the charge battery. This is the run battery, and right now it's not charging because I didn't have it connected. Uh, this could take a whole bunch of coils on it. That's going to be multi-coil. And then you can tie them together in series parallel and get a real high voltage and uh, big spikes. Maybe run a lamp, like a CFL lamp or some diode lamps. So here's my mess going through all the parts that I need to run it. Pot, potentiometers, jumper wires. Don't need many jumper wires. It's just point to point. Real easy. And the thing runs cool. I'm not even getting shocked. But I know it's charging. Verify I'm getting a charge on the charge battery. I'm going to hook it up here real quick with the camera in my hand. It's going up already. It'll take its time. There's no rush with this thing here. Put that down for a second. Hook up this real nicely so we can see it real nicely. So we got the charge battery, the run battery. It doesn't matter what run battery you got. As long as you make it spin, it'll put out a good charge and charge any kind of battery. So, uh, this is the Bedini wheel with the, uh, this one's kind of heavy because it's got a lot of zip ties holding these microwave oven transformer magnets on there. And you can hear this guy. Because it picks up speed, you hear it pulse. So, uh, yeah, I'm just building the modules now. And, uh, let's see, spin this thing faster. Make sure nothing's crossing here so it will charge.
anyway, yeah, it's starting to go up. Uh, that battery's almost maxed out. I'm just pumping it extra right now. There we go. This is still going up. It just takes its time. I don't like to rush it anyway. I like to see them slowly charge up so there's no problem with the individual cell banks inside there. So, yeah. This is just a tiny coil. 6 ohm and a 34 ohm. 10 ohm or 30. Triggers a uh, 35 ohms and the charging coil is about 10 ohms of wind. And they're wound. Uh, it doesn't matter if you do by filer or one at a time. It doesn't matter to me. Here's an experimental one. It all comes from those uh, fans in the microwave ovens. Good coils to use. Good wire. And you can even use the uh, laminated insert soft iron cores in there to pulse. It pulses well with that. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut off here. I'm losing weight. I'm happy about that. A little at a time. And I still got my other alternative energy projects to do. Like one is to get this giant guy down here. <laughs> you say the size of the shaft of that. That's a three phase, ten amp or uh, I forget how many horsepower, but uh, it's all on there. Three phase, ten amps. This is a one amp, a one and a half amp, driven by a DC a scooter motor, and this has got three magnets in there and a six wind, so it's three to six. And it, a low RPM, it kicks out pretty good. Here's my other coils. I'll be doing some alternative energy with uh, some of the Kapanazi and uh, other stuff here. But uh, yeah, while it's getting nice out here, it's more time to work outside. So that's just some of it. Uh, looking forward to making some more creative energy. I say useful energy, not creating it, but using transformation of the coils. We're at 12.44 now, and it's going up slowly. That's what I like. And that's going to cut it for me today, August 16th, Sunday, uh, 2015. It's about 2 or 3 p.m. That's about it. We'll turn it off on the Bedini wheel with one charger going.